Hey, how you doing? Hope you're well and all that stuff. Don't know if anyone's going to see this video. It's a bit like a time capsule. Put it out there. Maybe somebody will discover it in five years time. We went for an absolutely amazing walk uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I'd really like to share the route with you. Um, in this in this video, the main thing is we went to see King Standing Bowl Barrow, but um, from there we walked across to the top of the beacon, and then from there, if you cross the road at the beacon. You can go down into it's a disused quarry and it's pretty big. It's a really, really nice wood with lots of roots going through it. Who knew? We've been there once before, but I forgot what it was like. And then from there, it's signposted that you can get all the way to St. Margaret's Church and Great Bar Hall. And uh, you can just follow. There's a yellow route. And every now and then you see these poles with yellow painted on them. Who knew? In this video, we go to see King Standing Bowl Barrow. And in there, I mentioned something about where it got its name from, and I wasn't sure. So here we go. The name of the area is derived from the occasion when Stuart, when the Stuart King, Charles I, supposedly reviewed his troops standing on the Neolithic bowl barrow in the area on 18th of October, 1642, during the English Civil War, after his stay at nearby Aston Hall. So I noticed online the other day that there's something called King Standing Bowl Barrow and it's a, a burial mound and I was like oh hang on a minute I might just zoom out so I know um, at some point maybe about a year ago we walked down that side of the road and uh, we didn't know about this at all so if I go back you can see it's like a mound with a couple of trees on it They call it the King's Standing and I'll, I'll insert a bit of information about why it's called that because I can't remember. Am I filming? Yeah. So we've got this. This is looking down towards King Standing Circle and this is looking up towards Chester Road and Sutton Park. And there it is. We need to go and check, there's some more green, there's like another park just over there and we need to go and just double check that it's not in there, but I think this is it. This is like a little Christmas tree there, catching a bit of sun there, um, yeah. And that's looking down towards King Standing Circle. I was not expecting that view. It looks like it might be right up onto Bar Beacon. Oh, you know, if we didn't have these deliveries, I don't know, why don't we just go up there? Let's go up the beacon. Okay, so it's just a bit more of a distant shot now. King Standing Bowl Barrow. Yes, like and subscribe. Ding the bell, comment below and above. Okay. So we've actually, um, we saw the beacon in the distance and we're up the beacon now, Bar Beacon. There's the view. Be some cows. And the beacon's up here somewhere. This is lovely, isn't it? Wow. Some flowers. I can't believe it. So this is brilliant. We've got some woods over here. So yeah, from seeing the beacon in the distance, we thought, yeah, it looks pretty close. Let's go up there. 
there's um, a wood behind us that Kev did. There's something, um, Kev did a bit of research on it. It's something to do with the Scots. Oh God. in 1933 to perpetuate the memory of the men and women of Staffordshire and Warwickshire who gave their lives in the Great War 1914 to 1918 and in the in grateful remembrance of the late Lieutenant Colonel Joseph Henry Wilkinson 1845 to 1931 who presented Bar Beacon to the people forever wow Should we go down and take a look at this wood? Oh wow, that view, man. The sun's right up ahead. Can you see any plaques or anything anywhere? Isn't it beaches or something? I can't remember now. If we find a plaque, we'll let you know. 